Hello. Day one of a week long one to one. Fifth of Sep Fifth of March two thousand and twelve. Been a good day. <coughs> it's a Monday. A week of intensive training with one client, Emma, and her Pyrenean herding dog, Flossie. Potted history of Flossie. Found in France as a stray, a waif and stray. Taken in, fed, looked after. Brought back to Britain. And has been with Emma now for two months. And whilst they've got, they're getting on nicely, they're encountering a lot of common behavioural problems that most people deal with. The dog pulls on the lead, doesn't come back when called, is very focused on squirrels, birds, ducks, geese, and other dogs really do stress her out completely. Which, if she's been... She, oh, and by the way, she's, she's only a year old. So if she's only a year old and has spent the formative, year, formative months of her life feral, fending for herself, every dog she sees is, a, is, is competition for any food that's available, then to try and take a dog with that hardened belief and convince her to trust a human, big ask. It's a big ask. So today we've been out and about <coughs> doing some essentially behavioural testing. We've been to a couple of car parks. She also gets very stressed in the car, so we've got a lot of driving to do, a lot of in and out of the car to do, as well as fitting in everything else we need to accomplish. So we have a very busy week ahead of us. But at the end of day one, driving back from Leicester to pick my car up, Flossie lay down in the cage in the car. Never done that before. Big improvement. We've had her on the cl on the edge of a river, where there are geese and swans and ducks, and she's come back to Emma with no lead pulling, no stress, nothing. She's come back to Emma. People, she she lunge at people because she's an attention seeker. So we've had her walking past people. The dog issue, we've seen a few dogs, and that's a massive, intense issue for us. So we've got a work to do there, and I think that is probably, and most commonly, where the, the most amount of work lies. But we've had a very good day. At the start of the day, Emma admitted trepidation. She found my website, read about it, rang me up, had a conversation, booked it. Now, that requires a leap of faith. The week with me isn't cheap, so it requires a leap of faith that you're going to get value for money and get the behavioural advice you want and, tr and change your dog's behaviour. And after day one, she's gone back to the B&B &B happy. So we're off to a very good start. The rest of the week, that's what follows. She also has an interest in historical ruins. So today we've been to Abbey Park in Leicester looking at the ruins of <coughs> the Abbey there. Fascinating. We're off to uh, Grace Dew tomorrow, see the, the Priory ruins there. All of which we take the dog with us, and we're going to be walking through woodlands. Tomorrow, we're going to see the ruins, walk back to the car. So car travel, out and about, mixing and learning to calm down. It's going to be a very good week. And on Friday, spending the day at their houseboat, in London, where she knows exactly how to behave or not. So we're going to be for a very good week, definitely. <laughs>